having a means of communication is important how should you guys communicate on stage practice it practice it and make sure you get it everybody knows an information is being passed and we understand what is being said Hello guys, I am Mandu Johnson and you're welcome to Honest Conversations with Music and Tea. Well, today I'll be talking about how you can communicate effectively on stage. Let's dive into this video. But first of all, please, I'd like you to like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel if you're not yet a subscriber, and remember to share this video with someone who needs it. Now, the most effective way to communicate on stage will be using in-ear monitors and a talkback system that is absolutely effective but from this part of the world where i am where i am in this part of the world that system might be a bit expensive getting a good console getting the iem system and stuff like that so what how should you guys communicate on stage what should be the most effective way well before those systems came i'm sure people were communicating on stage and had it moving very well now first thing is communication is a two-way thing so you're saying something and the other person is understanding what you're saying now the first thing i'll say is as a band make sure that you guys can have signals that all of you would understand so for instance i've seen places where somebody the lead singer is singing and he just does something with his hand and everybody just knows yes we're supposed to be singing harmony here or that the backup singers know we're supposed to be singing harmony and then he does something and they know we're supposed to be singing in unison please make sure you get this done in rehearsal so you tell yourself we do this, this means unison, I do this, it means harmony, and then work, practice it, practice it, and make sure you get it. So that's one way. Now for musicians, I think understanding the number system for chord progression will be a very, very important tool. So I do this, and you know I'm talking about the tonic, I do this, you know I'm talking about the uh, subdominant I do this you know I'm talking about the dominant I do this you know I'm talking about the relative minor and well having a means of communication is important something that is not going to be noisy or rowdy but everybody knows an information is being passed and we understand what is being said remember the key to getting this done is practice so once you have decided on how you're going to communicate practice try it out during rehearsal and then see how it works and make sure be open to fine-tuning it and making it better all the time well i hope this helps you i hope this helps your band communicate better on stage and you know avoid trouble so guys I hope this information is going to be very helpful to you. Share it with someone who needs it. Thank you very much and have a wonderful day.